When we first brought Abby home, um, we were concerned that she wasn't opening her eyes. Um, we we're always told by the midwives that she, 37 weekers, they're more sleepy and tend to not open their eyes as much. So we were okay with that, but by three months we were more concerned um, that she wasn't opening her eyes. And when we'd turn on the lights, they'd be too bright for her. So we took her to the paediatrician and um, he referred us to the eye clinic the following day. When we went to the eye clinic, um, the, the diagnosis was um, she had aniridia. I burst into tears straight away, yeah. Um, we, we had to Google it um, and we knew that um, it meant that it was uh, basically a legally blind diagnosis. Uh, whatever vision she develops, um, it will uh, it's degenerative, so it will um, diminish, yeah. So after we found out about the eye condition, um, aniridia, um, we were told to, that Abby needed to have a um, blood test done um, to rule out Wagga syndrome. So we went to get her blood test and uh, I think it took about two and a half weeks. Um, felt like forever though. And um, the results came back that in her chromosome 11, she had the deletion um, for Wagga syndrome. So they control the eyes, um, the production of the eyes, and also the kidneys. At the age of one and a half, we went to our dermal renal scans, and the professor there found something that is not right. And then they confirmed that she had Wilms. So Wilms, it's Wilms tumor, so we all know that it's cancer. I was devastated. I was in that black hole to begin with and um, I'd go to sleep, have a nightmare, wake up and feel like this is the nightmare. Um, but you know, you just gotta keep going on and um, for her, give her the like, um, give her the best life that she can have. So she has physiotherapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, everything to just um, have along she's with us, just give her the best life that she can have. Abby wouldn't be here without all the research that's been put in. It's so important to support medical research. Um, I, I would never have known about all this. They know already what they have to do. Um, if the research were not there, Abby could still be waiting and we could still be in the dark and not know anything about that and at the end of the day it could be too late. So uh, we thank you for all those research to could save her lives and many more lives to, to come.